How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Black. Here we have a UFO. Uh, that joke would be funnier if it was April 1st, but it is not. Um, yeah, this is actually a brake booster to a vehicle. Uh, <clears throat> uh, if you've ever noticed, when you get in your car and you push the brake pedal a few times without turning the car on, that brake pedal gets stiffer and stiffer and stiffer. That's because your brakes are vacuum assisted. And this is got quite the spring in it. And I'm going to take it apart, which, now that I just felt how strong that is, I'm beginning to think it's a very bad idea. So I got these little locking tabs here. It's not bolted together, it's like... Kind of just folded together. Oh, everyone's cringing right now. What are you doing, Flack? No, don't do that! Okay, this is making me nervous. Alright, and I just came up with a fantastic idea. These clamps... Oh, that's not going to work at all. Alright, yeah, I'm beginning to think that this isn't a good idea, but I'll keep going. Yeah, it's starting to make crunching noises. You know what? I'm going to stop before I end up hurting myself. Or smashing this window. Or smashing my computer. Or impaling myself. Alright, using the Black & Decker Workmate. Hopefully I won't take my head off trying to take this apart. Now, where's my pry bar? Oh, wow, this workbench needs to be freaking cleaned. I don't like the fact that I'm standing right in front of this thing. Ooh, man, that is not a good noise. This is going to be relatively... Oh. As I was saying, this is going to be relatively simple inside, uh, despite the fact that my life just flashed before my eyes. Because it seems like it's got a decent spring in it. I think the other problem is, is that... My... This reminds me of, uh, oh shoot, what were they called? They're the, the air brakes on a big rig, uh, like big trucks. Um, they have these, they look like big drums underneath. And those have a spring in them that uh, you have to compress to take apart the component. And, uh, but if you try to take it apart without compressing that spring, uh, it'll take your head off easily. All right. Will dropping it work? Nope. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. Okay, it's starting to become unhinged. Okay. That's why you're always careful. Let's take it to the bench. All right, so that, I wanted it to assemble a little more before I drew it. But that is the heart of this. This is just a, a simple diaphragm. It's a, a difference in pressure that allows this thing to help you push down that brake pedal. Someone's probably gonna ask, do you think this is a rebuildable item? And I'm gonna outright say no, because you gotta bend all those tabs, and uh, trying to put this back together would not be fun. And not to mention, if you pinch this gas or diaphragm anywhere, or if it gets a hole in it, then it's basically useless. But these two holes here line up on these two posts, and actually, I'll just draw it out for you. Three main components, Amp, uh, vacuum side, diaphragm, and atmospheric side.
All right, this is going to be very simplified, but it's just to get the whole point across. You have two halves. This is the vacuum side, as you can see. There's a fitting right there. And you have the atmospheric side. And separating them, you have a diaphragm. That's that component right there. In fact, I'll just show you on this. That is your rubber diaphragm. Anyways, <clears throat> the vacuum side is vacuum because it is either connected to the engine, um, in naturally aspirated engines at least, or a pump for forced induction engines. The atmospheric side has atmospheric air pressure in it because there are there is a valve in here by the looks of it. I can't really take this apart. Um, but there's a felt pad here acting as a filter. So when you push your foot on the brake and start pushing it, this right here pushes in towards the vacuum side. So you have engine or pump vacuum helping you and you have the atmospheric pressure also pushing that. So, ergo, vacuum assisted brakes. When that gets pushed in, this diaphragm straightens out, which then pushes this component right here. Just as a clarification, uh, this would be resting against that. Um, it would not have that big of a space. That would not be good for a braking system. Which is this. That pushes into the master cylinder, which that's a whole nother video. I've got to try to find a master cylinder and take apart. And that's what creates brake, uh, pressurizes the brake fluid and makes your brakes work. It's very simple pretty neat little device and this stripped down to its basic shell makes me want to turn it into a one burger barbecue but uh, I think that's a whole nother video as well but anyways guys thank you for watching